Hello and welcome back to our reassembly series where every week we put 16 ships head to head for your viewing pleasure. Last week's winner was the mini death bulk, so congratulations to him. So this week we have a brand new lineup of 16 contestants all ready to go. So the rules for this week are appearing on screen right now. Let's see, what do we have this week? We have no fly command modules. All faction parts are allowed except for no fly command modules. Max P on a ship is 80. We're doing some low ships this week. No nukes are allowed. Well, yeah, and they're more expensive than 80, but still, no nukes are allowed. Minimum P on a ship is 5. There is going to be P matching. There is going to be tinkerel guns. There are going to be spinners, and there is going to be destruction. So, with that said, we're just going to move on over to Venom with the ships. All right, and our first ship here is the Mega Marble. We have two of those. We have one of the Atoms against it. We have one Scared V2, two Shrieks, two Fighters, one Interceptor, two Angels, one Harbinger, one Harbinger V2, one Mini Monstrosity Type 18 Mark IV, one Super Mini 9, one Beetle, one Tractor, one Mini Fighter, one Ram, and one Lancer. All right, so how does P working? P matching works is I run this through one of the programs that I wrote and what it'll do is it will match up the P's to get them as close uh, together as possible and make it as fair as possible without having a few hundred ships in each of these uh, contestant or contestants and so what we ended up with was doubling the amount of ships in four of the factions and the rest of our contestants will all have one ship all right, so we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, for our first matchup, we're going to have the Harbringer V2 versus the Scarab V2. So let's head on down to Venom for the ships. All right, so looking at the Scarab V2, it looks like we have a Sentinel ship, which has the armor spikes, which should do some melee damage, a good amount of thrusters, and also one flak cannon. Heading over to the Harbinger V2, we have a B ship, which apparently has one of their main quantum doom beams in the front, one of the small ones, and they also have a good amount of thrusters and a decent amount of armor. So this should be interesting. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, first, they're both rushing in towards the Sarah's Care V2, shooting off with that flat cannon in the front, but missing most of its shots, but that armor spike finished off that Harbringer. Okay, for going to the second one, we have the Scarab kind of cutting around, trying to get some shots with that flat cannon. Looks like Harbringer's going in for a shot. Nope, decides to double back, going into a spinning motion for no apparent reason. Okay, looks like Harbringer has lost all of its thrusters and is spinning out of control. Looks like Scarab's going in for the kill. One more shot. Oh, he can't get the flat cannon lined up. He's just down to the command module. It bounced off the command module, and the Scarab V2 wins the round. Next, we have the Atom versus the Beetle. So, let's just hop on down and see what's going on. Alright, and it looks like we have the Atom, which looks like it is a Terran ship, and it also has one minigun, and it has a grand total of eight thrusters on it. Looks like the armor... Armor is minimal, but it looks like a very minimalistic ship with a lot of thrusters, making it very fast. And then over here we have the Beetle. This looks like a contestant ship with a combination of three different factions' guns, along with some really good-looking armor. It doesn't look like Sentinel armor, though. It looks like a level lower. And then we here it has six thrusters, uh, four of them being mid-sized and two of them being small. So it should be rather agile, but it carries a lot of firepower. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, first we have the Atom rushing in, trying to kind of outmaneuver the Beetle, but Beetle's keeping at bay with all those three weapons attached to it. Okay, looks like the uh, Atom is getting a couple quick shots on the Beetle, tearing away some of those thrusters off. But looks like, oh, looks like the Beetle shoots off all the thrusters off the of Atom, and Beetle wins the round. Going into the round two, we have the Atom rushing in towards the Beetle. We have the Atom trying to, again, trying to outmaneuver the Beetle here, but it looks like the Beetle's guns are just tearing away at Atom. Looks like Kadari is taking away all of its thrusters and is spinning out of control, and the Beetle wins the round. Okay, for our next battle, we're going to have the Interceptor versus the Super Mini 9. Alright, so looking at the Super Mini 9, it looks like we have our first spinner of the night. And it looks like its primary weapons would be its two armor spikes and also some shard launchers on either side, meaning this is a contestant ship with uh, different parts unlocked that are not standard to contestant faction. And then over here on the Interceptor, it looks like somebody sent in a Basic Reds design, as this can be found in your Basic Reds faction. 
and it's just got its two basic guns and a few thrusters on the back sides and uh, in there in the middle. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, looks like Super Mean 9 is really working up some speed to go and try and run with those armor spikes. Looks like the interceptor is trying to keep it at bay. Uh, let's see, a couple of shards coming out of the inter I mean, out of the Super Mini 9, which ultimately takes out the interceptor. Going in the round two, we have them kind of rushing toward each other. We got Super Mini 9 trying to get aligned for those shards. Looks like the interceptor intercepted those shards. Looks like the uh, interceptor is just trying to find an opportunity, but the shard got to him first. Super Mini 9 wins the round. For our next round, we have the Mega Marble versus the Ram. Alright, so taking a look at the Mega Marble, we have two of them on a team, and it looks very similar to Adam, except it has half the number of thrusters, and it also looks like it is a Sentinel faction instead of a Terran. It also has a more powerful gun as far as the damage, but a much slower fire rate. And then going over to the Ram, it looks like we have a contestant faction which has two Sentinel armor spikes on the front, and then also... Uh, the triangles on the back which are not armor spikes it's got three medium sized thrusters two plasma diffractors and also a rear gun and we'll see how they do let's go ahead and jump right into it Okay, looks like the two mini marbles are going in towards the ram. Looks like the ram has outmaneuvered both of them so far, just trying to find an opening around. Okay, looks like the mini marbles trying to keep the ram at bay with those guns. Looks like it shot a couple of thrusters off the ram. Looks like the ram's going out of control. Looks like mini marbles trying to catch up, but the ram is slowly rebuilding, so let's see what he does here. Okay, looks like they are going to keep cutting around each other for quite some time. Okay, looks like the ram's going back in. Mega marbles shooting a couple shots off at it. Looks like most of the shots from the ram are missing. And the Mega Marble finishes it off. Okay, going into the round two, we have the Ram going up. Trying to get in a couple of quick hits on the Mega Marble. Does some big damage to the Mega Marble. Um, looks like the Ram has now lost a lot of its thrusters and is spinning out of control once again. Also trying to run away. Okay, looks like we have completely lost sight of the ships. So, this is absolute madness. Okay, so, looks like the... Um, Ram is going back, trying to just kind of cut around the mini marbles. Mini marbles are in hot pursuit, trying to get in with those laser cannons. Looks like the ram is trying to get to the edge of the earth to escape these guys. Okay, looks like the uh, ram is trying to go to the other end of the world now to try and escape these guys. So, I think we're just going to go ahead and call it. Let's see what's going on. We brought up the double speed, and Mini Marble wins the round. Okay, next we are doing the Mini Monstrosity Type 18 Mark IV. Jeez, that's a long name, versus the Lancer. All right, so looking at the Lancer, it looks like we have a Tinkro gun on a very, very basic ship. And it looks like it uses the Terran Plasma Projector as the base for its Tinkro gun, which is a much smarter option than using the basic Tinkro cannon base. And then moving over here, we have the Mini Monstrosity Type 18 Mark IV, which we are just going to call the Mark IV. And it looks like it, all it is is a farmer's shotgun with five thrusters on it. So this should be very interesting to watch this fight. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, it looks like the Lancer is trying to get some distance away from the Mini Monstrosity, get away from that shotgun, but it looks like it has lost its main weapon and is spinning out of control. Looks like the Mini Monstrosity is trying to get in some, get in there with that shotgun. Looks like it's split off all the thrusters, getting close, and the Mark IV wins the round. Okay, going into the round two, we have the Lancer. Starts kiting around the Mini Monstrosity, trying to get that range to shoot off that Tin Curl gun. Looks like the Mini Monstrosity is trying to close that gap to get in with the shotgun. Got a couple of quick hits in on the Lancer. Looks like the Lancer has lost most of its main gun and lost its thrusters and is now spinning out of control. Control. Mini Monstrosity struggling to get itself oriented to get a shot off on the Lancer. Looks like they miss. Okay, it looks like the uh, Mark IV is going in for another shot with the shotgun. Oh, that one's a direct hit to the Lancer. Lancer's freaking out. It's getting hit. It's getting pounded. Looks like Mark IV is going in for that last shot, and Mark IV wins the round. For our next round, we have the Fighter versus the Shriek. Alright, so it looks like we have a 2v2 here with the two Shrieks versus the two Fighters. So, the Shrieks are Red's faction, and they each have four thrusters and two guns. And then moving over to the Fighter, these also look like they are Red's factions with the same guns, and also each one of them has six thrusters but a lot less armor. So, these Fighters should be a lot faster than the Shrieks, but the Shrieks have a lot more armor. Let's see which will win. 
Okay, jumping into our first 2v2, we have the Shriek going in, trying to get a couple quick hits in on that fighter. Looks like they're both going after the same one. Oh, but the second fighter goes in to try and save the day, but is getting pounded instead. First fighter is down to the duel. Shrieks. Looks like the last fighter just kind of just running for his life right now. Not exactly sure what the plan is there. Looks like the Shrieks are trying to hunt him down. Okay, looks like the fighter is deciding. Kind of looked like he wanted to go in and fight, but he's like, you know what, screw it, I'm out. So, okay, the Shrieks are now going, trying to catch up with him. Uh, shrieks are shooting off a couple of shots at him, but the uh, fighter's trying to hold his own, blow off a couple of thrusters off of one of those Shrieks. Okay, it looks like the Shriek is now spinning out of control. He's regaining a couple of thrusters over time, but it looks like the fighter's trying to get in a couple more quick hits on him. Okay, looks like the other Shriek has decided to leave the battle. Now he's like, oh, there he is. He's back. Okay, the Shriek is now in hot pursuit of the fighter. Looks like they're closing the gap. Closing the gap, the other Shriek's back back from the dead looks like the other shrieks gonna start racing towards the fighter fighters i mean the shrieks looking a little bit out of control looks like the uh shriek is getting a couple of shots oh and the fighter takes it out okay we have the uh both of them spinning out of control grabbing parts to try and get themselves back to working uh into a working condition but it looks like the fighter got back into the working condition first blow off most of the thrusters from the shriek just tearing away at it right now and the fighter squad wins the round going into round two we have the shrieks and the the shrieks taking chasing down the fighters it looks like the fighters doubled back wanted to start fighting okay it looks like the shrieks have had their thrusters blow off once again that seems to be a very common theme for the shrieks and the shriek is down okay we have the fighter closing on that shriek blowing away at those thrusters with those two main cannons in the front looks like the shriek has lost all of its thrusters and the fighter wins the round okay going into our next round we have the angel versus the tractor all right, so looking at the tractor, it looks like this is a rather heavily armored ship with very minimal amount of thrusters with only two on the back. It looks like it has five short range, fast firing, high damage cannons. And we also have a immobilizer beam from the Borgs faction. And then moving over to the Angel, it looks like we have two of those over there. And both of these look like they will be rather large targets but also rather maneuverable with all those thrusters it also each has two main weapons but in a completely exposed command module which may be its downfall all right let's see how they do Okay, opening up in the first round, we have the tractor trying to find an opening into the angel. Looks like it's shooting away at that main cannon, trying to hit that main command module in the middle. Okay, it looks like the tractor is sucking in the uh, angel with that tractor beam. Looks like the angel is just pounding away at the uh, tractor, though. Looks like the tractor is now getting a couple of quick shots, but some of the thrusters of the angel... And uh, we're not sure where that angel went, but we know it lost a couple of its thrusters. Looks like the angel's trying to get in a couple quick shots on the tractor, but it looks like the tractor is somewhat main remaining in control of the ship. He still has a couple of thrusters. Okay, looks like now the tractor has begun its uh, spinning out of control. It's trying to get off a couple of quick shots on the angel, but it is not working. The angels are now just pounding at the tractor. Looks like the... The tractor is trying to rebuild itself, but the angels are just making it so that will not be a possibility. Looks like he's just freaking out right now, or not exactly what he's trying to do. Maybe he's uh, decided, oh, he seems like he's getting dizzy. He's slowing down. Okay, looks like he's going to try and start working his way towards the angel, but the angels are kind of kiting away from him while still delivering those shots. Okay, it looks like the... Oh, just blew off a chunk of the tractor. That thing is definitely not recovering now. Looks like the angel to just keep chipping away at it. Looks like the tractor's trying to close the distance, but it's just not happening for the tractor today. Looks like most of the thrusters are gone. Oh, they're tore off another two pieces. Now it's just the command module. They're chipping away that command module. And the command module is down. Angel wins the round. Okay, going into the round two, we have the tractor rushing in there towards the angels, trying to get in a couple of quick shots on that command module. Looks like the uh, angels are again trying to keep their same tactic of keeping the tractor at bay and pounding away with those two main cannons in the front. Looks like those are chipping away pretty well at it, and it looks like this is having about the same outcome as the last round with the tractor running away and losing control. Oh, and the tractor's coming back. It's got its cannons fully firing at the angel. Looks like the angel has lost another one of those side pieces. Angel's getting pounded right now by the tractor. Angel has lost a lot. Oh, and the first angel is down. Second angel is now coming. Coming in for the tractor. Wants a piece of the tractor. Looks like the tractor is now sucking in with that tractor beam. Getting it with those main machine guns on the front. It's down to the command module. And tractor wins the second round. Going into the third round. The tiebreaker round. We have the tractor. 
trying to uh, get that tractor beam started to start sucking in the first angel. It's getting it with those quick uh, machine guns in the front while chipping away at it. Looks like it uh, got off a lot of pieces of that first angel, but it's not quite gotten down to that command module. It's chipping away at it, attacking away at it. Oh, and it's down to the command module on that first angel. Looks like it's just floating there in space trying to get its parts back, but I think it's over for that angel. Okay, next we have the next angel coming in to help. Not sure where he was last time, but he's like, yeah, you know, we'll just uh, do 1v1, and then once the other guy dies, I'll come back in. So, now we have the angel trying to get a couple quick shots on that tractor, which has really been its downfall this match with it just not getting its thrusters knocked off and then spinning out of control. Looks like it's trying to regain some of its balance with that tractor beam, but it keeps missing its shots. Okay, looks like the angel is pounding away at the tractor once again, just taking off those parts bit by bit. Looks like it's chipping away at most of the pieces. Oh, it just lost another two pieces. Lost another three pieces to the angel. Oh, it's really spinning out of control now, folks. Okay, looks like the angel has decided to stop firing, doing a little bit of mercy against the tractor, which tractor is still spinning out of control, and it does not look like it's repairing soon. Well, looks like they are both kind of at a standstill. We're not exactly sure why, so we're just going to speed this battle up down to double speed. Well, up to double speed. Okay, looks like the angel is now going to start shooting at the tractor once again. Looks like, oh, the tractor is getting a little bit more ground on the angel, chipping away at it. Back to the command model, and tractor has an amazing comeback in round three. Tractor is going to be your winner for that round. Next, we have the Harbringer versus the Mini Fighter. All right, so over the Harbinger, we have a bees ship with one quantum doom beam right in the middle and quite a bit of armor surrounding it, but not actually touching it. And we have a rather exposed command module in the back. It also has a decent amount of thrusters for its size. Moving over to the mini fighter, it looks like we have one station defense laser along with a missile launcher. And not much armor on this one either, but it does have three backwards facing thrusters, which should allow it to move very quickly forwards but we'll see how the maneuverability will be without the ability to back up. All right, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, it looks like the Harbinger's trying to rush in, get a couple quick shots on the Mini Fighter. Looks like the his shots missed on Mini Fighter, got a couple of quick hits in. Harbinger has done absolutely no damage to the Mini Fighter, but they're still kind of cutting around each other, so it's still anybody's match. Looks like the Mini Fighter's trying to find an opportunity, shooting off some of those missiles at the Harbinger. Looks like the missiles are coming back to bite the Harbinger, but he evades them. With two fast ships like this, it's really tough for any of them to get any of their shots in. But look at the Mini Fighters hit a couple of quick shots. Oh, and a really big shot into the Harbinger by the Mini Fighters missile that has chipped off most of the ship. Okay, it looks like the Mini Fighters gone in for another missile, and the Mini Fighter wins that round. Okay, going to the second round, we have the Harbinger and the Mini Fighter rushing each other. They both just nearly missed each other. Okay, we got some missiles coming out of the Mini Fighter trying to... Uh, Hit the Harbinger, which is in hot pursuit. Looks like the Harbinger is evading those missiles very well. Okay, looks like the Mini Fighter is going to try and go a little bit closer up to the Harbinger, see if that will help with his missiles. But then he decided, I wanted to leave. So, oh, and then the Harbinger got a couple of quick shots on the Mini Fighter with that main cannon. Okay, it looks like the Mini Fighter just hit a couple of those missiles, though. Looks, Harbinger lost all of his thrusters, and the Harbinger is going down with the next couple of missiles. And the mini fighter wins the round. Going into our next portion of this fight, we are going with the Beetle and the Scarab V2. All right, so with our next match, which do you think will be the winner? The over amount of firepower or the hefty amount of armor and thrusters? Well, with the amount of thrusters on the Scarab V2 and the flat cannon on front, I think that the that flat cannon is going to be enough to blow through the Beetle's minimal armor and um, win the match. I think it'll actually be the Beetle due to its superior firepower and also omnidirectional movement since it doesn't have a set forward, sideward, or backwards uh, you know, movement. Okay, with that said, we're going to jump on into round one. So, first we have the Beetle and the Scarab kind of slowly going towards each other. 
They both shoot off their main cannons, but the Scarab hits first, blows off a couple pieces of the beetle, and the Scarab wins the round. Okay, going into the round two, we have the Scarab rushing in. Got the beetle kind of spinning around, trying to get some good shots onto the Scarab, but does not hit. Looks like the Scarab got like three good shots onto the beetle. Beetle has lost a lot of its maneuverability to that, and a couple of its weapons up in the front. Looks like the beetle's trying to keep him at bay with the cannon he does have left while repairing his ship, but the Scarab closed the distance. Scarab's couple, taking a couple more shots, and the Scarab wins the round. Okay, going into the next round, we have the Super Mini 9 versus the Mega Marble. All right, so who do you think will win our second semifinals match? The two Mega Marbles or the Super Mini 9? Well, based on what we saw from the last round with the... Uh, ultimate power of the flat cannon with two of those rushing at the super mini nine i think that the uh, mega marble is going to bring it home i agree Okay, with that said, let's jump on into round one. Okay, so we have the two mini marbles rushing around Super Mini 9. They're trying to get a couple of quick shots off of that flat cannon. Looks like the shard launchers are not really hitting the mega marbles too much. They're keeping their distance. A lot of the stuff has just been blown off the Super Mini 9, and the mega marble wins the round. Going into the second round, it looks like the mini marbles are going for the same tactic of both rushing in. Looks like the Super Mini 9 is not going to be able to send out any shards, and the mega marble wins the round. Okay, going into our next round, we have the mini monster the Type 18 Mark IV, let's just call it the Mark IV, versus the Fighter. Alright, who do you think will win? The two Reds Fighters or the contestant Mark IV? Even with the nature of the Mark IV being a shotgun, which would be good for shooting out multiple targets, I think the sheer amount of uh, bullets coming uh, to the Mark IV from the Fighters will ultimately win the round. So I think the Fighter is going to win this one. I think the Mark IV will actually win this due to its superior mobility, due to it having five large thrusters. With that said, let's jump on into the first round. Okay, looks like the two fighters are both trying to close the gap on the Mini Monstrosity. Mini Monstrosity is trying to get a couple shots in with that shotgun. Looks like it's nailed a couple of shots on that first fighter. First, second fighter has decided to leave the match, and the first fighter is down. Okay, it looks like the uh, Mark IV is trying to get his shotgun in range of the fighter. And the Mark IV wins the round with that shotgun. Okay, um, jumping in the round two, we have the Mini Monstrosity trying to line himself up with that first fighter. Looks like the... Uh, Shotgun is tearing away at the fighter, but so far it's been a pretty equal match. Oh, they're going for the ram. Okay, we have the uh, couple of quick shots coming out of the fighter, but most of them missing the Mark IV. Okay, and the Mark IV takes him out with the shotgun, so now we're moving on to the second fighter. So, now we have the Mark IV getting in with that shotgun a little bit, and that ultimately wins the round. Okay, next we have the mini fighter versus the tractor. All right, for our final semifinals match, who do you think will win, the Mini Fighter or the Tractor? Well, with the um, sheer amount of guns on the Tractor, I think that the uh, Tractor is going to bring it home for this one. I think the Mini Fighter will probably have this one due to its long-range missiles, which are really good at tearing apart, especially these bigger, slower ships we've been seeing so far. With that said, let's go ahead and jump into round one. Okay, it looks like the mini fighter is spent delayed, had no delay in sending out its first flurry of missiles towards the tractor, but none of them hit. Okay, it looks like the mini fighter is just going to try and cut around the tractor while sending a couple of missiles his way, and looks like the tractor has been working around those pretty well, though. Oh, near me, a very close shot by the mini fighter, but the tractor just, just missed it. Oh, oh and the tractor. Uh, shoots the uh, missiles out of the air before they can even get there. Looks like this is going to be a long match of the uh, mini fighter going just uh, shooting its missiles at the tractor. So we're gonna go ahead and speed this up to eight speed. Even with eight speed, this is still not really having any effect on the match. So we are going to speed this up even more. So with that said, let's speed it up even more. We're now 32 speed. Okay, with this said, we have a whole bunch of dots smashing into each other, and it turns out the Mini Fighter won. Okay, so, <laughs> moving into our second round, uh, we have the 
uh, tractor going into the same thing of just trying to evade those missiles from the mini fighter. Looks like the tractor is keeping those at bay though with his front cannons. Oh, and the mini fighter gets a big hit on the tractor with those missiles. Okay, it looks like the uh, mini fighter is going to go in. A couple more missiles and tractor is gone. But it looks like the tractor is doing pretty good defense against those missiles for right now. Looks like none of the missiles are quite landing on that tractor. Oh, near miss. Okay, we have two more missiles coming out of the mini fighter. One of them almost hitting the tractor. We're having a lot of near misses this match, so we're going to bring this thing up to quadruple speed. Okay, with that said, we have a whole bunch of missiles flying out of the mini fighter. None of them are touching that tractor. So, we're going to bring this up to 8 speed. Okay, now with that, we're in 8 speed. We get to talk really, really fast and meet the base of the match, and mini fighter wins. Okay, moving into our. Uh, next match, we have the Mega Marble versus the Scarab V2. Alright, so for our first semifinals match, who do you think will win? The two Mega Marbles or the Scarab V2? Again, with the flat how the flat cannons have been doing today, even though they both have flat cannons, I think the Mega Marble, with having two Shepard chips to aim, um, I think will win the match with this one. I agree. I think the double the firepower will win this one. That said, let's jump on in the round one. So we have the Mega Marbles rushing in towards the Scarab. Scarab's trying to get him with that kind of longer range gun on the front. Looks like the Mega Marbles trying to get in a couple quick shots. But said, you know, this guy's a little bit too powerful, so they're both backing up in unison. Okay, so with this said, we uh, have the Mega Marbles backing out for quite some time. So we're just going to raise this speed two times four. Okay, with this said, they are now rushing at four times. They are now running away at four times speed. So we're going to bring it up to eight times eight. Okay, now that we sped it up a little bit to move a little bit farther onto the match, it looks like the Mega Marbles are getting a couple quick hits in on the Scarab. Looks like it has chipped away a couple of thrusters off of the Scarab, so that should make it so he's not able to run quite as fast away from the Mega Marbles. Looks like the Mega Marbles are still doing their normal retreat tactic, though, while the Scarab is struggling to catch up with them. Okay, and so we have a couple more quick shots coming out of... Oh, and a big hit by the Mega Marble to the Scarab. Okay, and we have the another quick shot on the Scarab. Scarab is doing near misses um, to the Mega Marble. Ooh, another close shot by the Scarab. And with that said, we're going to speed it up two times four again. Okay, so now that we're at times four, they're all kind of just bouncing around in the corner for right now. Looks like the Scarab has now been surrounded... Uh, by the ships, and now we're being pounded by and all sides. Oh, it looks like the uh, Mega Marble has taken out all the thrusters. It's down the command module now, and a couple of slivers of armor. Looks like the Scarab has now lost just about everything, but it looks like the Mega Marbles are not able to take it down quite yet. Okay, it looks like the uh, Mega Marble is now trying to get a couple more quick shots on the Scarab, and now we're going to speed it up two times four. Okay, so now we have a couple more quick shots coming from the Mega Marble, and it's just about over. So I think we're just going to call this one for the Mini Marble. Okay, going into the second round, we're going to do this at times four speed because these ships are not very aggressive. Okay, so we have a couple quick shots on the Scarab onto the Mini Marble. Looks like the Mini Marble is trying to get away and repair a little bit, and it looks like the Scarab is trying to rush in there and catch up with them, but it looks like the Scarab has a little bit less mobility than the Mini Marbles, so that he is not able to keep up. Okay, it looks like there are a couple quick shots coming from the Mega Marble, chip chipping away at that Scarab. Looks like it's a pretty equal match so far, 14 points to 14 points. Okay, it looks like they're both just trying to nail some shots onto each other, Mega Marble hits a couple quick shots onto the Scarab. Hasn't blown off any components, though. So, right now, it's still anybody's game. Okay, looks like the Mega Marble has now dug in a couple more shots into the Scarab. So, looks like the Scarab is now spinning out of control. Looks like it regained a little bit of its balance, but it still lost a lot of its thrusters. So, now the um, Scarab is just getting pounded by the Mega Marbles, and the Mega Marbles are going to bring it home for this match. And we are just going to call it right here. Okay, with that said, we are now doing the Mini Fighter uh, versus the Mark IV. All right, so who do you think will win, the Rockets or the Shotgun? I think with the uh, mobility of the Shotgun, I think that the uh, Mark IV is going to bring it home. I think that the Mini Fighter's Rockets, if one of them can hit, will blow off enough of the thrusters that the Mark IV won't have the ability to aim its Shotgun, so I think the Mini Fighter will have this one. But that's how the top of the round one. Okay, so we have the mini fighter rushing in, trying to get in with those missiles in 
uh, into the Mark IV. Looks like the Mark IV is trying to just close that distance, so he's able to get in with a couple of shock. Oh, and a big shotgun blast from the Mini Monstrosity Type 18 Mark IV. Took out, uh, oh, big damage to the Mini Fighter. Looks uh, like the Mark IV is going to win the round. Moving to round two, we have the Mini Fighter rushing in with those two missiles, barely missing the Mark IV. Okay, it looks like the shotgun is just about in range for the Mark IV, so chipping away at those. And we have a go around the side. And, uh, so, looks like the Mini Fighter has lost most of its thrusters, and now the Mark IV is going on with that shotgun, and the Mark IV wins the round. Okay, so, going into our next match, we have the finals, which is going to be the uh, Mini Monstrosity Type uh, 18 Mark IV versus the Mega Marble. Alright, and who do you think will win this final match? Well, with the, uh... Power we've seen of both the shotgun and the flat cannon. I think it's going to be a pretty close match, but with the maneuverability of the mini monstrosity type 18 Mark IV, I think he's going to win the match. Okay, I think it'll be the Mega Marble since there are two of them and they'll be able to outmaneuver the mini monstrosity type 18 Mark IV. With that said, let's go into the round one. Okay, looks like Mini Monstrosity is trying to go in, get a couple quick shots in with that shotgun. Looks like the Mega Marbles have landed quite a few shots though, but the. Uh, Mark IV has gotten a couple of shots onto one of those mini marbles, but overall the mini marbles have done much, much more damage. Oh, and he blew off the entire ship, and mini marble wins the round. Okay, going into round two, we have the mini marbles and the Mark IV rushing in towards each other. Looks like the mini marbles are getting a couple more shots in onto the uh, Mark IV. Looks like there are a couple of shotgun blasts coming out of the Mark IV, but most of them are missing because of because the Mega Marble is being able to evade those. Now we've just gone absolutely off the wall with just a command module and a thruster. It's running away. It's trying to be rebuild a shotgun right now. The Mega Marbles are trying to catch up with it, but it seems that they are not able to catch up with it for right now. I guess that one thruster is just way too powerful for it. Oh, and there's a quick shot from one of the Mega Marbles slowing down the building process of that... Um, main shotgun on the front from the Mark IV. So while this is rebuilding, we're going to go ahead and speed up to double speed. Okay, now that we are in quadruple speed, we might have to go to 8 speed. Now that we're in 8 speed, we might have to go to 16 speed. Now we're in 16... Oh, there we go. A little bit of action now. Okay, it looks like the mini... Uh, the Mega Marble is trying to get a couple quick shots in on the Mark IV. Looks like the Mark IV is getting a couple quick shotgun blasts off on the Mega Marble. Looks like the Mega Marble has lost a lot of its ship. Oh, it has lost one of its four main thrusters, but the Mini Monstrosity Type 18 Mark IV has lost just about all of its thrusters and is now trying to run away, trying to rebuild itself, rebuild its composure. Okay, it looks like the uh, Mini Marble is just chipping away at the uh, thrusters of the Mini Monstrosity, but it looks like the Mini Monstrosity has gotten back full operational capacity with the Oh, and everything has been blown up by the Mini Marble. We're back to the uh, normal command module with one thruster, so we are going to see... Oh, and both of the Mega Marbles are going in towards that Mini Monstrosity. So, it looks like the Mega Marbles are going to keep chasing him down, so we're going to raise this chase up with times 8 speed. Okay, now we're times 8 speed. We're going to go times 16. Now 32. Now 64. Oh, we got some action. Oh, and the Mega Marble wins the round. Okay, with that said, your week's winner is going to be the Mega Marble. Yay! If you enjoyed the video, please remember to like and subscribe to continue getting back to the basics. Also, the next week's rules should be popping up on screen right about now. Okay, it looks like next week's rules are going to be no fly command modules, only using farmer parts. The max peon ship is going to be 2,239. You can have nukes, but I don't think the farmers have any nukes. There is not going to be P matching. You can have tinker oil guns, even though they're not farmers, so no tinker oil guns. And no spinners. So, basically, we have farmer parts only with uh, 2,239 P. Alright, and if you enjoyed that video, go ahead and smack the subscribe button in the middle of your screen. If you want to see our latest video, click on the right. And if you want to watch a semi-related playlist, click on one of the two buttons to your left.